a little windy out here today, so I do apologize if there's some wind noise here in the beginning. Rolling to the store with the golf cart. Gotta love that. Um, we're always having these clothing racks out front here. And some golf clubs, bikes, little kids' bikes. But today's video, guys, we're going to talk about the top 10 items that sell in this little store in the middle of the desert. Let's do this. So let's see what we do today. All right, we are in the store here. Lots of things have changed, probably since the last video. Get some musical equipment here, some amplifiers. Again, some things have laid out pretty much the same. Lots of fishing poles in here, hats. I mean, we got pretty much everything in here. Heck, we even got coach purses. But um, we'll probably do another tour of this a little later. But the shelves are packed. And that's a good thing. You don't want to have a store with empty spaces in them. So anything from clothing, CDs, shoes, all this good stuff here. But uh, I wanted to talk to you guys today because I posted something on my Morning Cup of Joe Facebook page. And that Facebook page... There'll be a link down below if you want to follow that or follow me on Instagram. And on that page, um, I asked people, you know, what kind of videos are you guys looking to see from me here? Decided to pick up the camera once again and make videos for you guys here on YouTube. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is Mike. I've been a full-time reseller for over 20 plus years in the business. eBay, Amazon, Etsy, my own e-commerce sites. Uh, I've owned stores before in Illinois. Here I am in Arizona. This is six months doing this retail store um, but anyway I asked some questions about the uh, what do you guys want to see and uh, I had some great questions asked of me and I was like all right this is good this is a good opportunity for me to make some videos to talk more about what you guys are looking to see so I wrote some of the comments down um, uh, Ricky thanks a lot I put you up on the screen there Ricky he asked what's the best selling items in the store well Everything sells, believe it or not. But I did come up with a list here I wrote down of some items that sell. And I'm just going to go over them. They're in no particular order. But really, you know, you're just basically trying to find out what customers' needs are. When they're walking in the door, always ask questions. Hey, uh, there's something you're looking for. You know, also, I'm, I'm buying items here, too. I'm doing trades. I'm doing consignment. So there's a lot of just general questions I ask people when they walk in the store. And um, it leads to a whole other conversations. It leads to... Other opportunities, believe it or not. But I did write a list down here. Uh, shoes. We sell a lot of shoes. Kids' shoes, women's shoes, men's shoes, not so much. I would say 90% of our buyers in the store are women. Uh, jewelry, right? We sell a lot of jewelry from costume jewelry to sterling silver and gold pieces in here. So there's no rhyme or reason. And I'm not one to judge anybody when they come to the door. I just want them to be a happy customer. I want them to have a happy experience when they come in here. And I want them to come back. Uh, books. We have a lot of snowbirds in this town. A lot of elderly people come around. And so we're always running sales on books, CDs, DVDs. Buy one, get one free. So pretty much for a dollar, you can get two books, two CDs, or two DVDs. These are items that are just abundant everywhere. I buy a lot of storage units, so I've got... <laughs> they're in every unit. Uh, so books, DVDs... Uh, toys. We sell a lot of toys. In our main entrance here, we have a section for toys. So when parents walk in with their kids, boom, kids are right there. They're attracted to the toys. So a lot of plush animals, a lot of little action figures, uh, remote control toys, uh, Fisher Price stuff, and anything kids related really sells. Um, and we've sold some toys for twenty, thirty, forty dollars in here. It's it's kind of crazy, but we also sell toys for a dollar or a quarter. Or, you know, if a kid's got a little trinket there and he bought something else, I'd just throw it in for free, right? Clothing. At first, as you can see in the store, all the clothing is outside except for the new tag clothing items. Those are in the store. Clothing sells here. We get people to come in and just grab 50 pieces of clothing. A dollar a crack, maybe two hours a crack, some of them, depending on what they are. Um, I could probably make a further video of how I sell clothing in the store. Um, I'm very specific on what we're selling. And um, it, it, no stains, no rips, no tears. We're not selling crap, you know. I've been to Goodwills. I've been to Salvation Armies. I've been to thrift stores. And people 
They just, they'll throw a hanger on it. They don't care. And they'll put six dollars on it, right? I'm also very aware of what the competition is doing. Now I'm just a small little fry <laughs> out here in the thrift game, right? You got Salvation Army that's 20 miles away. You have a Goodwill, and you got a couple mom and pop shops here. But in this particular town, there's nobody that I know of that's really selling any clothing in this general area. So when people do come through the door, they see the clothing. They're attracted to it outside. They actually, the, the clothing racks outside brings people in. And uh, we've had where we sold eighty dollars worth of clothing to people. We also sell, sell kind of high-end clothing, right? Michael Kors, a lot of name brand stuff. And there's a, we, we're not trying to get rich off that stuff. We're trying to make it affordable for people that, you know, um, are looking for a deal. Um, so clothing does sell uh, anywhere from jeans, shirts to belts to hats, all that stuff under the clothing. But we'll probably dive into a further video at another point in time. TVs, um, I get them frequently. They always sell. They maybe last a day or two here. I put them right over here where, where I'm at here, and people walk in, they, they, they see it, price point, boom. All the bigger type stuff we sell, too, is posted on Facebook Marketplace and all these other places that are out there. So um, tools, we sell a lot of little hand tools in here, drills, saws, um, just little socket sets. I just sold a socket set yesterday for $14, you know, just eight-piece set. Guy needed to have it. Um, video games. We sell quite a bit of video games in here. Um, anywhere from, you know, any original NES games all the way up to PS4 games. I sold a PS5 controller in here. I sold, we got PC games. We just got a whole load of PC games in that. Um, I knew those were going to be slower sellers, but people come in and they look and they see, and um, it's great because we have a lot of these repeat buyers. The key with this whole business is repeat buyers. We want to make the buyers happy. My prices aren't like eBay. Some items are. Some items we sell for more than what it goes for on eBay, believe it or not, because it's an impulse buy, right? It's an, This knife might be $10 on eBay, but it's sitting here for 20 and somebody's got to have it, right? Um, and a lot of times when they come up to the register at $20, hey, listen, I'll do that for 18 You know, make the customer happy. That's my biggest thing with this. This is a customer support business. You know, customer's always right, even when they're wrong. <laughs> but make sure they feel like they're at home. You want them to come back and keep buying items. Uh, kitchenwares, last item here. Kitchenwares, so anything from pots and pans to uh, microwaves to waffle makers, uh, just trying to think off the top of my crock pots. Crock pots do very well here. Um, cast iron does amazing here. So um, that type of stuff. Glassware, it's the downfall of this business. We have moved a lot of it. But in the future, it's something I'm probably not going to dabble too much into because it's just dime a dozen stuff. It takes up a whole room of shelves, and it's, it's just, it's, it could be a nightmare, you know. Um, I don't want to run a business where everything's glassware. I just don't. I got a massive variety of products in this store, and that is what keeps people coming back and uh, hopefully it keeps the doors open for me. So i um, got one more question I'm going to answer here today, and it's from a good buddy of mine, Frank. Uh, Frank's been a, a loyal supporter for, gosh, probably f a long time, that's for sure, being on YouTube here and social media for 11 years. So I really appreciate you, Frank. Um, he says, do you like the retail store side of things? And yes. Now, I have no background in retail sales. A lot of my background is in marketing and direct sales for higher end items such as robotic machinery um, or selling freight. As a, I used to be a freight broker, I used to own a company with the freight brokerage where I'd sell to other companies. And um, so I don't really have too much retail experience in terms of just outside of the flea market stuff and the side of the road, that this type of selling. But in this market here, um, I like it. It's, it could be frustrating at times, um, especially when you, people come in the door, they walk around, and they don't buy anything, right? Um, that tells me what, what's going on. Why didn't they buy anything? Well, you know what? It could be something as simple as, hey, listen, you know what? They just wanted, they were bored. They wanted to get out of the house. So um, at first, when I first started opening this store six months ago, I was questioning why. Is my stuff not good enough? Is it too high priced? Is it too cheap? You know, but you can't think like that. And each customer is completely different. And they all have different tastes and wants and needs. But the resell, retail side of this uh, business is, <coughs> it's interesting. It is um, an experience um, every day. Nothing's the same here, especially when it comes to the buying aspect of it. There's items that are always coming in that we're buying and from all different types of people. So um, 
that's the fun side of it for me. Also, the fun side of it is to see the fact that items are going in bags and out the door. <laughs> that's key for me because that keeps the lights on here and, um, and all that. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, I love sitting at the counter here. I love getting up, talking to customers, and interacting all day long. It's a blast. And I'll tell you what, the more you interact with people, the more good things come from it. That's for sure. I can't tell you how many times just a small conversation that leads to somebody bringing in something amazing here or to somebody donating something amazing, or to a consignment deal, or you know, a big purchase, right, that I can make some money on. So, um, yeah guys, that's gonna kinda wrap up today's video. Um, just kinda walk over here, we'll kinda see what we got going on here in today's shop. So, puzzles. I can add thousands of things of what sell great in the store, but uh, there's a lot of opportunity. And it's just finding, I, I think what I like about it here is, is everything is unique. Okay, sure, there's some common stuff in here, but just the uniqueness and the way it's laid out. Kim has done an amazing job at all this. And we're constantly moving items from one place to another place. We're constantly adding items. This was filled this morning. Women bought a bunch of pillows and, and sheets and, you know, that type of stuff, curtains. And you know what? I'm not afraid to go, well, that's $25 in the store. You know what? I'm here to make you a deal. That's what this business is about. That's the retail side of it for me. Um, this section here, we've talked about this in further videos. These are great little things. I've, I've talked about these. They're 50 cents for a little pair of earrings. Um, impulse buys. People just buy it. Yeah, got to have it. So, yeah, that's that there. We've got a couple of cases here. So there's all different types of items in here. Just because it's in a case doesn't mean it's very expensive. Some, yes, there is very expensive items in here, up to four or $500, no doubt. But there's also items in here for four or five bucks. So it's the cases give it that look like it's important in there, and it works. Here we've got sports cards. I sell a lot of Arizona sports cards from Phoenix Suns to the Arizona Cardinals to Pokemon. I have zero Pokemon Christmas time there. And all here was Pokemon. I have zero. It sells tremendously. It actually should have been on the list. But I thought I'd throw it in there now that I totally thought about it. Again, jewelry. So, yeah, guys. If you like these little videos of me in the store here, I'll continue making the videos for sure. I know a lot of you guys want to see the interactions between me and customers that come into the store here. And originally, when I started putting out those videos, I removed them all. Um, I think it's, it's, it's not wise for me to do that. I think it's distasteful. I think I think it's ignorant, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm not I'm not doing that. I will if people come in and they want to sell me something. I will ask if they want to be filmed. If they're cool with that, you'll see stuff like that. But in general, I'm just not going to blindly film people and uh, look for reaction videos uh, to, to find some type of success here on YouTube. Because um, I know those videos are very popular, and um, it's just not my type of thing. So. Um, Again, thank you guys if you enjoyed this video. If you, uh, if you have any comments, leave them down below. I will read the comments. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys. Been on YouTube for over, over I think 11 years now. Pretty wild. Look at where we come, right? Look at where we come. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Be great.